Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and welcome back to another Bakugan video. First off, I want to apologize for my voice. I'm just coming down from being sick and I've also changed my mic setting some, so things might sound a little off. These are videos I do every now and then. This one was heavily requested a couple weeks ago, so I decided why not? Let's do another one and see what the rarest Bakugan in my collections are. If you haven't seen the other videos on this, I suggest you check them out because you can see some differences, especially like how the level of rarity has increased as I've continued collecting. I've been collecting for, I think it's over two years now, something like that. It's, it's two years, a little over two years, I think. Uh, and so it's just interesting to see how my collection has changed. But today we're gonna be looking at what I think are the rarest of the rare in my collection. Uh, it's been quite a journey and without further ado, let's jump into it. The card we're going to be using today to open these Bakugan is a HSP card. It is a special ability card called Backlash. A uh, pretty rare card in and of itself. It's got like a foil holographic style here. Um, and then the gate card rulings basically say that the G power leveling of Bakugans becomes a negative number. So if you have 400 Gs, you get negative 400 Gs and the winner takes the captured card. So pretty interesting uh, and a really unique designed card. So we're gonna lay that down and get onto the first Bakugan. So first up, I have a Bakutech Bakugan. Some of you may recognize this one. Uh, this one I put at the number five slot. Honestly, any of these can be sort of, you know, this one could technically be four in the list. This might push three, but I think it's five. Uh, this Bakugan you can find online fairly decently. Go ahead and open him up. So made last boss pops open. He's this really cool dragon character, and I really like his gimmick. I bought him for a deck a while back. If you guys have not seen that, uh, it is the possessed deck, and it's one of my favorite Bakugan decks to play with. 720 G's on made last boss here. He's got some horns that pop up as well. Uh, really cool gimmick is that like this whole thing spins. Pretty cool. I have a whole review on him, so if you'd like to check that out. Just search it up on the channel there. But I put Made Last Boss at the number five slot uh, pretty much just because of price. Uh, he is $205. That's what I got him for. You can see these ranging in a variety of, of prices, but typically you're going to see them around a $200 range. Uh, you could find them for cheaper, especially depending on where you look, uh, considering this is a Japanese exclusive. It's region locked. Uh, so you could find them in Japan for maybe a little bit cheaper, but in terms of like America getting a hold of one of these, uh, Made Last Boss is up there. Um, really cool Bakugan with a unique gimmick and just overall fun to uh, fun to play with. Um, this one was runner up. Uh, this one was I deemed slightly rarer than some of my other Bakugan. Uh, I could have put Boulder on on here, but I feel like Boulder on is slightly easier to get a hold of. Um, I also could have put Hydronoid on here, but a lot of people argue that Hydronoid is not rare. He's just expensive. And so my reasoning behind this, uh, this guy takes the number five slot over those Bakugan. So yeah, to close made last boss, you just tuck in his feet there. He's got these horns you got to remember to close. The hardest part, honestly, is you got to make sure you close this ring and then you kind of just have to use all your hands to get all the different wings in. It can get complicated, some things are gonna click, but he's a tough guy. And then you just close that all together, and boom. Yeah, you got made last boss. Oop, see, ring came out right there. <laughs> Up next on the list is a B2 Subterra Cycloid, and pretty much the whole reason I'm making this video. I've covered Cycloid recently on the channel, so I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with this. Um, I've already spoke a lot about him on his own dedicated episode, so I'll kind of breeze through this. But B2 Cycloid is really cool. Uh, let's go ahead and pop him open. So, got a horn here, and then feet right there. And so, again, this one is also pretty rare because it is region locked, but this one is a step up because you could only get it in blind bags. So it was region locked in Japan, and you could only get it in blind bags. Uh, so when you opened the bag, you had no idea what you were going to get, uh, and this could be a small chance you could get one of these. So Cyclo's super cool for that reason. I love his design, and just he's a, an incredible background to have a part of the channel. I just think... As I've bought, like once I got him and as I've been like, um, like sitting there looking at him on display, he just looks so cool. I bought this guy for $210 plus the shipping. He ended up being a total of $270. 
which either way, 210 or 270, that is the most I have spent on the channel ever on a Bakugan. Um, my Hydronoid that I bought was only 161, and then made last boss was 205. So this one being 210 makes him the most expensive Bakugan I have purchased on the channel, which is uh, that's saying something just to show and prove how rare he actually is. Um, and so, yeah, that's why I put him in the number four spot. I felt that he was not quite number five, but he did have a higher place up. But I do have Bakugan that are much rarer than him. And so I put him on there for that reason. Yeah, let's go ahead and close him. So he's just got his feet you lock in and then his horn goes in. And then I like these because they're so basic. You know, season one, you just close the head and then tuck the feet in. Oh, he wanted to poke out. And yeah, that's Cycloid. Up next on the list, this one uh, might come as a shock to some of you, but this is number three, my favorite Bakugan, which is Darkest Translucent Night Percival. Uh, most of you guys have known the story if you've been on the channel for a while. I was looking for this Bakugan for upwards of three months until I found him. Uh, and oh, man, just the video itself, I go back and watch sometimes. I was so ecstatic to get this Bakugan. Let's go and pop him open. Yeah, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and spin him. All right, so let's see here. Got his feet out. Percival's got a lot of different pieces. I don't even like touching this one at this point. Uh, so this Bakugan, I believe I bought, I may have to fact check myself. I think I got it for a hundred dollars, a hundred and something dollars, um, from the seller. Uh, but they go for a lot, lot more, and you do not see these often online. Uh, I don't even remember the last time I saw one online. I think it was, it was a couple months ago. It's been a while. Oftentimes when I spoke in the first video I ever made of this guy, and you can't even find this dude like on Google. Like when you type it in, it's like there's two videos, like two thumbnails from people back in like, I think it was nine years ago now, 10 years ago now. And then you have my thumbnails now that are the most recent. Absolutely love this guy. If you have him, consider yourself like a true Bakugan collector because this one is hard to find. Oftentimes you can see them online if you do at all for upwards of $400, I think. Last time I checked, I haven't really looked recently. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, um, but this one is very rare very hard to get and just such a beautiful Bakugan like look at that guys look at that so unique and so cool and I don't like I said I don't even like touching this one just because I'm scared I'm gonna break something he's got so many finicky parts it was also region locked just like the others you could only get it in Japan uh, I believe this one came in a specific package uh, of all things so I don't know why this one's so rare considering it should have been more accessible but yeah, super rare Bakugan and my favorite. I just love the design. I love the color. So to close Percival, we're going to shut his feet up. Uh, and then we're going to close his little hands right here. And then I always close these spine pieces first in the back. You got to shut all his heads. And then you got to make sure he's spun correctly to lock in. And then you got to close all these. And honestly, sometimes he doesn't even close right away. Let's see. There you go. Good job, Percival. Thanks for being cooperative this time. Can anyone guess what number two is going to be? Go ahead and put your guesses in the comments below. Uh, this one might come as a shock to some of you, but I'll explain my reasoning between number two and number one here in a minute. Number two is Mectanium Surge's Aquas Radizen. Let's go ahead and pop him open. All right. This is season four, uh, Marucho's Guardian Bakugan Radizen. Go ahead and pop him all open. Oh boy, I remember getting this one like it was yesterday. This one was crazy, and I have a crazy story for it as well. Um, again, I have covered this one on the channel, so if you'd like to go see it more in depth, you're more than welcome to. Uh, but Radisson, I, don't, I mean, he looks cool, don't get me wrong. In the show, he was kind of weird, but man, in ball form, he does look good. So Radisson, I was searching for, I don't know how long, it, it started to get to a point where I was ready to like hire someone to make a resin recast. Um, and then all of a sudden it appeared for $75 of all things. This Bakugan probably runs between five and $600 easy. All you see online is people trying to sell them for 600. Will they sell for that much? Probably not, but you're probably going to spend a pretty penny to get a hold of one of these. Um, and so just to get it for $75 is mind blowing. And I am so fortunate that I was able to get it for that price, honestly. Um, and here he is, amazing Bakugan, 850 Gs, 
and you just don't you don't see these online as much recently i feel like they've been popping up probably because of my videos and people just kind of casually looking for them more i think there was a resurgence in them uh and i have seen a couple more honestly i feel like i've seen more aquas radisons than i have translucent night percivals recently um but i put this one at the number two spot due to price uh it's just incredibly more expensive i think um but yeah i've seen a little bit of a resurgence and that's why i'm putting this at number two this time so to close radisin it's very simple uh probably simpler than most of the other Bakugan I have. Uh, you just shut the feet, shut the wings. And what you gotta do is tail, wings, and then head, and it locks in. And I don't believe this one's region locked. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. It's not exclusive to Japan, I don't believe. However, I don't know if it was accessible in the US. For some reason, a lot of Mectanium Surge Bakugan uh, didn't make it in their native attribute over to the US. So. This might have been a European exclusive. I'm not sure. Uh, I do not have enough information on that. But if anyone would like to provide some, feel free to comment down below. If you have sources or any kind of solid information to back up your claims, that would be fantastic. Because just the more information I can get on this, the better. But yeah, that's Radisson. Before moving on to the number one spot, I wanted to throw in an honorable mention for the Baku Eclipse Heos Reptac. I don't believe there was ever a native Heos made. There's like one picture online, so they're very obscure. But this particular version was a European exclusive, and I feel that it deserves a spot on the list. However, I wasn't quite sure where to put it. And frankly, I almost forgot about the guy. Uh, I feel like maybe it belongs at a number six, number five, or number four spot on this list, but I wanted to just throw them out here so you guys were aware uh, of how rare this Bakugan is. The final Bakugan on the list of the top five of my rarest in the collection is not actually a Bakugan, but a Baku Nano. <laughs> uh, so similar to Radisson, a lot of you guys probably know the story by now. Uh, but I looked for the Lanzado Baku Nano forever. It was driving me insane. Uh, and I got lucky. I found a seller who was willing to sell it to me. Uh, there's a video on that if you'd like to see it covered. Uh, this is the gold anime accurate uh, Baku Nano. So it's like you had the gold one in the show. And honestly, it, it's a good looking Baku Nano. It, it looks incredible. Let's be honest. It looks amazing. Uh, and I'm really, really grateful that I have it. I don't even like to take it off of him because I'm scared I'm going to break something. So I'm just going to leave it as is. But it looks cool put together. Uh, and I put it at the number one spot. I know it's not really a Bakugan. But man, did I spend a long time looking for this. And honestly, this isn't even the rarest Baku Nano. There are some Baku Nano out there that just either don't exist or like only had a few made. Or just, I don't know. We don't know where they're at. But some of these Baku Nano are completely like just gone to to just baku gone in general like we don't know where they're at we don't know you know that we just don't know who has them i guess uh we don't even know where they got released mectanium surge has such rare baku gone because the series had finally sort of dwindled and died off and people didn't buy them and so a lot of them probably got chucked in the trash uh just lost in people's houses thrown away eventually all of that so there's probably more rare Baku Nano than this, um, but this one right now is my rarest in my collection. And I really, really put this one on a pedestal. I keep it in the center of my collection so that anytime I walk in, I can look at it and be like, man, that's a good looking Baku Gone with a good looking Baku Nano. And guys, that is 2024's rarest Bakugan review. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments below, who is your rarest Bakugan? And on this list, how would you rank them? Who do you think is actually the rarest in this little list right here? Let me know down in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching. With that, I will see you in the next video. My name is Jesse. Peace out.